bro. Him and his little lighter. How cute. All right. Think for one second you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. Following second you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? Nah. I just need another permission, bro. Close, but the enemy closer. But this is something else. They also say desperate times call for desperate measures. Like, I need a premonition right now, dude. Please. What do you want me to do about this? They're just dead people. Many people died here. Have your people always been like this? It doesn't matter what our ancestor did. It was a different time. The only thing that matters is our actions today. Facts. So you think the U.S. is the big invader? That we're the barbarians? Why do your people hate us so much? Because you bomb our city. I don't hate anybody. <laughs> is that okay with you? I'll get back to you. So far, no one's really dead. Rachel's infected, but... Like, I, hey, I like, I, at least the safe's Eric. He would have died for sure. I don't know what else you want me to do. I hit every point on the dot. Anything in this room now? Dynamite. Things to hide behind. Is that dynamite? Dynamite? This must be where they kept the prisoners. Sacrifices, maybe. I'm waiting for something to pop out at me. I doubt they're gonna do that, though. That's too easy. Looks to be where the archaeologists set up camp. We need to find a way through there. Yeah, that'd be too easy, right? Come on, this is the Dark Pages Anthology, not a freaking... What? I don't know. I think of it when it comes to me. <laughs> bro, I'm looking around frantically, bro. I'm just looking for anything at this point. That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate. The other can slip through. Liam goes first. He's not going to leave him behind. Jason might, though. Find another way around. That crawls fast, though. Damn. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. Gosh. All right. You got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. It's not a bad yeah. thing. It's beginning to look like that. Oh, you can just crawl through it. Okay, we don't have to. Oh, no, we do have to lift it. Oh! Thank God! 
I was like, I'm tapping the dog out of this thing and it's not going anywhere. Oh, premonition. Yes, that's what I need. Okay, that's what I need to do to save Jason. Got it. I don't know why it looks like we're going to the Wizard of Oz now, though. Whatever that green fire is. Can I look at it? Okay. I'm not going into my inventory to do that. What's the first thing you're going to do when we get out of here? If we get out of here. Hold my son. How about you? What will you do? I'll probably just go for a drink. Tablet. Thirty-two. Uh, you people love rituals. <clears throat> Story time with Randolph. Unintentional. Un <laughs> that was unintent. Whatever. Nine p.m. Tangible, whatever it's called. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife. I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. Yeah, their first turn subject. You seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask, what the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us, we had no choice. Jason says there's always a choice, Your I swear. Friend Nick, I like him. He was good to me. Circumstance. Any other day, he'd put one between your eyes. Wait. the meaning of those markings on your hand it's to honor the dead it's the reason i fight it's as good a reason as any it's a damn good reason the only reason respectful i have no grievance with you maybe you need to switch on the news <laughs> listen there was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's when the pre premonition finally showed up. The first ever one. Uh, somebody turn around and throw like some, a rock at him or something. Stick to the heart. Stick to the heart. Oh, 
What the? I could have dodged that like 10 hours ago. In the heart, stop putting it in the ass. Pause. God, you son of a. There we go. Okay, or well, at least he's not sharp though. I thought for a second I was gonna kill him. I was like, no, please don't do that. Oh, now you trust me? I say we get the fuck out of here. Or that. That's also good. Oh, why did you turn right like that? Goodness. Um. Yeah, I don't know much about you, but I'd close these doors. Ain't nobody coming through this at all. And that pit? Be another three in there. Is that a hole? Wow. Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your back, be my guest. Or like an ass pocket or something. Wherever the hell that went. Those chemical weapons are close, right? This one contains an inordinate amount of blood in its stomach. When I the blood sample shows higher density of ad adrenaline. Does the organism feed on fear? Perhaps. Jason, I'm going to need you to move. Jason. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, we're not going anywhere just yet. A black onyx? Eclipses. I don't know what it is, but it looks nice. Uh, they say they had a prisoner in here. Is she still here? You want to hear a joke? Nope. No. Please say it anyway, please. That'd be great. Randolph, is this you again? Camp is in uproar. Workers are missing and Lady Bradshaw. First of January, 1947. 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. All around us, they shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. They cannot be allowed out of here. That's basically what's happening to us. I don't know about you, but I don't. I don't see an exit through here. We're living on borrowed time. Secret. I'd go back, but Jason's blocking the way. All right, Mary. Did you ever get better? Building sickness continues. Ceiling supply low. Detecting moving in your skin. Blah blah blah. I mean, she turned. 
Oh, she's got an organism underneath her skin. All right, I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's get out of here. Cabinets. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Now hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left. Underground springs. I still stand by it. I cut some off, the, some of, some rope off of that, and then just use it for later. And I'm pretty sure water doesn't fall like that. Whatever the hell that was is not water. Is that your wife? Funny how you can know someone for years and never really know them. I had no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? Asshole? You didn't make it. Works for me. One less bad guy to deal with. A time will come when you'll deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets. What the hell was that throw? Anyway. Just chuck it. That'll be all fancy with and stuff. What game am I playing? Like, honestly, what game am I playing? I just keep going down and down and down. There's an exit down there with, like, an elevator that leads straight up to the top. I'm done. Well, this place is a jack in the box. Like, look at that. Yeah. Seems like this is like witchcraft now or something. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? Explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fire it up. You crazy? If those vampires come from anywhere it's down there, you really want to find them in their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. I love how all the generators look the same. Not that, not that they need to be different, but like. I think it'd be a, just a bit more technical being down here and stuff, carrying an elevator and all that. A little bit modern, I should say, not technical. Anyway. Dark or dark? So Liam, get ready to throw you. Okay, for a second, I thought the sides were like on rollers or something. I'm like, I don't know if this should An work. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. But I wanted you to talk early. Let I don't know. See how many have fallen into shadow. Rachel found her way back to the lights. 
Well done. All a lie. Not so long. Don't get complacent. Their lives still hang by a thread. Or a button. Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Salim, sworn enemies who cannot seem to bury the hatchet unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. So you mean we're going to the I'll end of the game? To greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them.